sentinels are um, basically a value in a list of values that indicates the end of data. So for instance, let's say that we're doing a while loop and we're asking the user for um, test scores. We would want to, a sentinel would be a value that the user enters that indicates that they're done entering test scores or data that can't be confused with an actual test score. So for instance, um, so well, let's just first of all write down, so sentinels are um, a value in a list that indicates the end of data. And so for example, if you were entering test scores, you could ask the user to enter negative 999 for uh, to indicate that they're done entering test scores because that can't negative 999 won't be confused with a valid test score. So basically you just pick something that's that wouldn't be reasonable or valid for the data being entered. Another example would be let's say that you're um, getting ages from people. So if you're getting ages, you could ask the user for, you could be asking them for ages, so they're enter age one, age two, age three, and then um, it could you could use negative one for the user to indicate that they're done entering ages. And so the sentinels are often used when, with a, when you're getting data from the user and you don't know how many values will be entered. So let's look at an example of how this would be applied in a program. I'm just going to put a comment up here and say that this is an example um, sentinel. So let's say that we're let's say that we're going to um, let's say that we work for a company and we want a program that will input sales, so like the amount of a sale. It's going to um, sum the sales and calculate the average, but we want to, so we're going to ask the user to enter their sale, like, a, like a, a list of sales, and the user needs to be able, the user needs to have a way to indicate that they've entered all of their data. So let's do, um, first of all, let's, let's just declare some variables. So we're going to have um, a double says so a floating point, and this is going to be what we're getting from the user. So the um, so the sale, like whatever the sale is. So if it's three dollars, they'll put in three. If it's five fifty, they'll put in five fifty. And then we're going to want to total the sales. So I'm going to have double sale total, and I'm going to set this to zero because initial. Presumably, initially, this, the total sales are zero. Um, and then I'm going to have the number of sales. So this is, this is going to be a counter or an accumulator that keeps track of how many times the while loop runs, uh, or the loop runs, and that's how many sales, that'll represent how many sales the user entered. So this is going to be number sale, and I'm going to set this equal to zero initially as well. So let's ask the user for a sale. So I'm going to do C out, um, enter the first sale or negative 999 to quit. So basically they're going to enter a sale or they're going to enter um, negative 999 to quit. And I'm going to put a dollar sign here to indicate to the user that they don't need to enter the dollar sign with their data because remember if they enter the dollar sign when they enter their number it's going to cause a um, error in CN so so we want to make sure they don't do that okay so we're going to see in sale so whatever the user enters it's going to store that value to the variable sale and then now I want to do so I'm assuming that the user has more than one sale to enter. So now I'm going to do a while loop and 
get the rest of the sales from the user. So while, and I'm gonna say, so while sale does not equal negative 999, so remember that was, um, that's our sentinel value. So that's the value they're going to enter when they're done entering sales and they're indicating that they want to quit the program. Let's do, so sale total is going to be, um, so this is going to be sale total plus sale. But remember, we can write this as sale total plus equal sale. So I'm going to do that just to shorten it. So this is plus equal. I'm going to increment my number of sales here. So I have sale plus plus. And then I'm going to do C out, enter another sale or minus 999 to quit. And then I'm going to have the dollar sign here again. And I'm going to do C in sale. So now what this is going to do, it just read in whatever they entered, sale, updated the sale total by adding that sale to the sale total, updated the number of sale by um, incrementing the sale counter, and then once they enter negative 999, it's going to exit this loop. So now let's do some stuff, let's display some things. So we're going to see out. So I wanted to display the total number of sales. So this is um, number sales. Do an end line. And I also want to see out the total sale amount. So Let's just do dollar, well, let's just do total sales. So this one would be number of sales. And then this one, total sales, and then we're going to do sale total here. End line. And then I also want to I also want to calculate the average sale. So this is going to be, I'm going to actually put a dollar sign on this and this. <clears throat> so this is going to be sale total divided by number sales. This is actually number sale. So this is number sale here. And yeah, that's what I called that. Okay, so now let's do end line. All right, so let's save this and see if it compiles. And run it. Okay, so enter first sale or negative 999 to quit. So let's just enter 10. Enter another sale, 10. Enter another sale, 23. Um, 45.7, 34.8, and then negative 999. So now it quit and it has number of sales of six. Let's see if that's right. So one, two, three, four, five. Actually, this is, is actually needs to be set to zero because this is going to increment the counter um, one extra time when the um, negative 999 is hit, and the negative 999 isn't actually a sale. So this needs to be zero, not one right here. So let's um, try this again. So let's enter some sales. So there's one sale, two, three, four, five. Okay, so number of sales, five. Total sales is 274, so added up all of these numbers. Average sale was 54.80. And let's go back to here. So there's another way that we could do this program. Um, so we know that we want this to, this program, no matter what, so no matter what the condition is here, so we have sale does not equal to negative 999, um, no matter what the 
no matter what this condition is, we're always going to want this loop to run, or we're always going to ask the user this first question. So enter the first sale or negative 999 to quit. So we're always going to ask this initially. So we could actually do this as a do while loop and test our condition at the end. So then the loop is always going to run at least once. So I'm going to move this down here. And remember with the do while loop, I need a semicolon after that. And I'm going to do the do here. And then I need to change a few things because now I don't need to ask this question twice. And I'm also going to reword it. So it's, I'm just going to ask for sale or negative 999 to quit instead of asking for the first sale and then another sale. So let's um, go here and just do C out, enter sale or <clears throat> negative 999 to quit. And then take this off. I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to have the I need to see in whatever they enter so see in sale and then I have um, so after they see in sale I'm going to have sale total and with this I might want to do an if statement because if they enter negative 999 I don't want it to do I don't want it to update the sale total or number of sales. I want those to remain zero. So I'm going to do an if statement here. So if um, sale does not equal negative 999, then I'm going to have this in here. And then I'm going to do um, else, and then I'm just going to do a C out exiting. Okay, so let's um, run this. So I don't think we need to change anything here. We still have number of sales, number of sale, total sales, sale total, average sale. So let's um, compile and run this. Okay, so enter sale or negative 999 to quit. Let's, let's start with negative 999 immediately. Um, so we have our number of sales, total sales, and this one I probably actually want to do an if statement here. So this only runs if number of sale doesn't equal zero. So if number sale does not equal zero, run this. Otherwise, it's just not going to run that statement because there's we don't want to try and calculate the average sale if the number of sale equals zero and we can see that from this example here it just had the NAN because it can't divide by zero so um, let's compile and run this again so negative 999 now this is just going to have the number of sales total sales and it's not going to run the calculate it's not going to calculate the average sale because the number of sale equals 0 now let's run this and enter some numbers so let's do 56 45 67 34 so this is 1 2 3 4 5 sales and then let's do negative 999 so now it has number of sales is 5 total sales is 278 Average sale is um, 55.60. Okay, so coming back to this program, um, basically this negative 999 is a sentinel. And so sentinels are used, they're often used in while or do while loops to indicate that the, like let's say you're, you have a while or a do while loop that you're asking the user for data. So basically you're reading a list of data the <clears throat> sentinel indicates that the user is done entering data and they've reached the end of their list.